for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad and Cheese, as always. Got another update video for you guys. Before I get into this video, as always, if you guys want to continue this trend of doing update videos whenever they drop, whether it's play rings, gameplay, mutt, franchise, ultimate team, all that stuff, Woo! hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Make sure to be a subscriber. Today's video is not the big update that we're all waiting for. I think it's going to come out next week. They're saying that they were aiming for a pretty substantial patch. Probably the biggest patch we're going to see all year. They were aiming for that in mid uh October, which is, like I said, that can be anywhere from a week away to two weeks away to not even being in October if they're going to follow the same trend that they followed last year where they said they were going to put out three updates for franchise, and I don't even think they ever got all the stuff out that they were trying to get out. So there's no guarantees that they're, you know, I know a lot of people are probably clicking on this video waiting for franchise news updates because that's probably the most problematic area of the community right now is franchise mode. A lot of people are struggling. Let me know in the comment sections what franchise mode problems you guys are having because I don't play franchise mode. I just hear it a lot. Lot. And I'd really like to be uh, up to date more on the issues that people are having in whatever modes they're having. So let the comment section be a complaint section because I really want to know. I don't really play Mutt that much either, although I do have a Mutt team and I do eventually want to put out some Mutt gameplay. I just don't find that that mode has been as fun and rewarding this year as in years past. Uh, so ultimately, I'm really just enjoying playing regs the reason that most of my gameplay and pretty much i mean all my gameplay at this point is regs is because the fun is game mode and it's also a game mode based in the here and the now i'm an eagles fan the eagles are playing great i want to play with my current team because i'm excited about the eagles it just, that's just how it works if they if they stunk i might want to use the great players of the past and stuff like that like you do in mutt but at the end of the day i just enjoy using my eagles that's why all you're seeing is gameplays of me using the eagles all the time is because i'm an eagles fan and that's what madden lives off of is people you know playing with their favorite team so that's kind of where i'm at right now other than that this update is a player ratings update and i'm going to go over who went up and who went down but since we're talking about the eagles i might as well start off by giving one of the names one of the lesser names which really shouldn't be a lesser name at this point but one of the names that isn't on the list and i'm going to read and that's jalen hurts went up a whole point i know every week i, I say uh why is he not going up higher uh, by comparison, TJ Edwards is a 81 overall. He's a middle linebacker, which I'm sure nobody has heard of, uh, unless you're an Eagles fan. But he's a very good player. But the fact that he's an 81 overall and is moving up faster than Jalen Hurts, who's the front-running MVP candidate at this point in the league, uh, is kind of embarrassing by EA. So, once again, I mean, I don't understand what they what they have against this man. Guy's playing great. I'm sure he's going to play again great this week. He should be getting a point improvement pretty much every single week. And then, hopefully by the end of the year, he'll have a rating that he deserves but he did go up a point so Jalen Hurts 78 overall let's go let's go over this list though we're going to start off with a quarterback that might be just a little bit worse than Jalen Hurts not by a lot but just a little Patrick Mahomes got a plus one overall to a 97 obviously I'm joking I love Patrick Mahomes by the way who doesn't love Patrick Mahomes I mean the guy's much much CTV uh, but he's the high, I think he's the highest rated quarterback in the game now at a 97 overall he should have been higher I remember when the, the Rays came out he was way too low I don't know why I think Patrick Mahomes is so amazing uh, and this is the case of a couple of quarterbacks because Lamar Jackson kind of gets this too. But some players are so amazing that they just that we just kind of overlook uh, the great things they do every week. And we just get used to it. And I think that's kind of where Mahomes is at. I mean, it's just like, what more does a guy have to do? He should be a 99 in my opinion. He's, he's one of the best quarterbacks uh, I ever watched play. He's one of the funnest quarterbacks I ever watched play for sure. Uh, another plus one is Nick Bosa. We're going from the highest to the lowest here. He's a 95 overall now. Not sure what he necessarily did, but uh, the guy's one of the best defensive ends in the league. Derwin James gets a plus one. I saw a clip on EA's Twitter that uh, they said that they had like 10,000 calls for Derwin James to be higher. And I tend to agree. I, I love Derwin James. He's an amazing player as well. A lot of these guys, when I see like they get a plus one, I'm like, what was EA waiting for? Guys like Justin Tucker. I mean, that guy, as far as a kicker is concerned, that guy could be a 99 overall. I mean, the guy has the NFL record for the longest field goal kick. I think he's the most accurate kicker in history. Why is he only a 91 overall? Is it a big issue to give a kicker a 99 overall? I mean, this guy definitely, uh, I don't think anybody would argue. Jordan Poyer is up to a 91. Bobby Wagner is up to a 90 as a plus one. Um, you know, all pro linebacker, still doing it. I watched him in I think the, the Monday night game against the Niners, and he was the only guy on the Rams that even stood out. Uh, AJ Brown gets a plus one up to an 89. Joe Tooney gets a plus one to an 89. Hawkinson plus one to an 89. Saquon Barkley, who's having a real resurgent year, is a plus one up to an 88. 
Um, that's another guy who, you know, I think he's leading the league in rushing right now, so he should keep going up. I don't know what's uh, slowing down his rise. He'd probably should be above 90 by now. Brian Burns, plus one overall, two in uh, 87. Dallas Goddard is another Eagle that got a plus one overall. Um, he's up to an A6 overall. Da uh, Tony Gonzalez, who probably is one of the, maybe the best tight end in NFL history, recently said that Dallas Goddard is the best tight end in the league. To me, he's kind of like a poor man's George Kittle, although at this point, um, he's probably producing on a similar tier based on the fact that George George Kittle just isn't the focal point of the Niners offense uh, like he used to be. It's more Debo Samuel there now. Uh, Patrick Sertan, the second, got the biggest jump. He got a plus two. That's the, the biggest, the only plus two overall jump uh, this entire game. And I think it, a lot of people were saying it's because he shut down Devontae Adams. I saw that on the, uh, the the Thursday, I think it was the Thursday night broadcast. If you shut down a great receiver, you should get a plus two. The last plus two that I saw from a cornerback was Darius Slay a couple weeks ago after he shut down Justin Jefferson. So that seems to be uh, that seems to be the standard, but he's a good young player. He's rising up quick. And we're going to the going down pile. Uh, we're starting off with a name we just mentioned, George Kittle. It's a negative one down an overall in 96. Um, which, you know, he's still a great player. The thing about players like Dallas Scott and George Kittle is it's their blocking as much as they're receiving that makes them, uh, you know, really good players. Tom Brady also on the decline, a negative one. And I don't necessarily agree with Tom Brady going down. I think that uh, him going down after that head-to-head -head matchup with Patrick Mahomes is kind of suspicious. I mean, it was just one game. Tom Brady's dealing with a lot of off-the-field issues right now, and he's also dealing with a lot of moving parts on offenses. They're constantly moving receivers in and out, either from suspensions or injuries. Uh, injury like Chris Godwin, who also got a negative, over one, a negative one overall to an 88, 88 overall, which is kind of stupid. He's playing injured every week. He's, he's, he's playing through injuries. He even got hurt in the game that uh, you know he got hurt on one of those goal line plays so it's kind of weird to see Chris Godwin uh, getting a negative one when we all know that he's, that he's injured it's kind of nonsense but I skipped ahead there Tyron Smith is a negative one overall uh, I thought he wasn't even playing isn't he injured for Dallas why would he be getting a negative one if he's not even playing JC Jackson uh, negative one overall, down on 89 overall. He was always underrated, so it's surprising. Uh, Darren Waller, negative one overall. Again, Darren Waller is going down every single week. I think he's gone, he's dropped like four rating points since the game came out. Chandler Jones is another Raider that uh, his ratings are going down. He's an 87 overall. I think his rings have dropped every week since the game came out as well. Leonard Fournette goes down a point, down an 87 overall. Um, you know, him being an 87 overall actually seems kind of high. I like him as a player, but that actually seems kind of high. So, uh, Devondre Campbell going down a point to an 86, and J.J. Watt rounding out the list of the big-name losers going down a negative one to an 86 overall. He's He's got it. I don't know what he's doing right now, but he's got to be spent. I mean, he, ha he hasn't really had a great year in a long time, um, which, you know, it's just to the point where he, he's kind of just name value at this point. I don't even know how he's an 86. If you base it off of how he's produced the last couple of years, I doubt he even should be that high. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more update videos, like I said, they are planning a big update coming out soon. That's more than just a player update. That really should be handling a, a, a bulk, you know, a brunt of the Madden 23 issues. Uh, and that's something that they really need to get together before Black Friday. And, and, you know, that's one of the bigger days when people really buy this game a lot. So they really got to figure out some of the problems that are going on. Um, to basically fix it before the next wave of people that buy the game. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, like I said, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. I will have a video popping up of my most recent gameplay because I didn't mention it in this video. So if you want to see that gameplay that I was talking about, just click the link on the screen. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.